Want to pass the real estate exam in one try? Well, you've come to the right place. Imagine standing tall, holding the key to your future success, the title of a licensed real estate agent. Just one hurdle stands between you and your dream, the real estate exam. This exam is more than just a test. It's a gateway to a rewarding career in the real estate market, a world filled with opportunities and financial growth. But why pass it in one go? Besides saving you time and money, achieving this feat demonstrates your determination, commitment, and mastery of the subject matter. It sets you apart from the crowd and gives you a head start in the competitive world of real estate. So, are you ready to unlock your potential and step into the world of real estate? If so, strap yourself in and let's embark on this journey together. Stay tuned for the steps to ensure your success in the real estate exam. Now, the first step to acing the exam is understanding the content. Diving right in, let's discuss the main content areas of the exam. These are like the pillars that hold up the entire structure of real estate knowledge. First up, we have property laws. Legal jargon may sound like a foreign language, but fear not. The key here is to break down complex laws into simpler, digestible parts. Once you grasp the core idea, the details will fall into place. Next, we have real estate principles and practices. This section is all about the nitty gritty of the real estate world. From types of property ownership to contract laws, from ethical practices to understanding market dynamics, this area is vast, but incredibly exciting. To remember these key concepts, try associating them with real world scenarios. This not only aids in retention, but also helps you apply these principles when you're out in the field. Moving on, we come to real estate calculations. Yes, numbers can be daunting for some, but they are an integral part of this profession. You'll need to be comfortable with calculations related to mortgage payments, property taxes, commissions, and so on. But don't let this scare you. The trick here is practice. The more you work with numbers, the less intimidating they become. Now, you may be wondering, how do I remember all of this? Well, the secret lies in repetition and active learning. Don't just read the material, engage with it. Make flashcards, create mind maps, participate in group discussions. Teach someone what you've learned. All these techniques will help cement these concepts in your mind. Remember, understanding the content is not about memorizing every single detail. It's about grasping the essence of the concepts, understanding the connections between them, and being able to apply this knowledge in a practical setting. With a solid understanding of the content, you're already halfway there. So keep your spirits high and your focus sharp. The world of real estate awaits your expertise. You've heard it before, practice makes perfect, and this rings true for the real estate exam. So let's discuss how we can make practice our best ally. The first thing to remember is that practice isn't about memorizing facts and figures verbatim. It's about understanding concepts, principles, and procedures, and being able to apply them in different situations. Therefore, it's crucial to use practice tests and quizzes to gauge your understanding. Practice tests are designed to mirror the actual exam, so they're an excellent tool to familiarize yourself with the exam format. They contain questions from all areas that the real estate exam covers, giving you a comprehensive overview of what to expect. But more than that, practice tests also help you identify your strengths and weaknesses. This way, you can focus on the areas you need to improve. Now, when you're taking these practice tests, it's important not to rush through them. Take your time. Try to understand why an answer is correct, not just what the correct answer is. This will help you develop a deeper understanding of the topics, and it will make you better prepared for the actual exam. In addition to practice tests, quizzes are also a valuable tool. They're shorter and more specific, allowing you to focus on one topic at a time. If you're struggling with a particular area, Quizzes can be a great way to hone your skills and reinforce your understanding. But remember, don't just take a quiz once and move on. Repeat it after a while. This repetition will help cement the information in your mind, making it easier to recall during the exam. Lastly, don't be disheartened if you don't do well in your initial practice tests or quizzes. It's not a measure of your ability, but a measure of what you know and what you need to learn. Embrace these moments as learning opportunities. So, let's get practicing. Dive into those quizzes, take on those practice tests, and give it your all. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll do. Exam day can be nerve-wracking, but with these tips, you'll be ready to face it head-on. Let's dive right into it, shall we? First off, let's talk about the night before the exam. It's crucial to get a good night's sleep. You might be tempted to pull an all-nighter, cramming in every last bit of information. But trust me, a well-rested brain can recall information more accurately than a tired one. 
Aim for at least seven to eight hours of sleep. Let your brain recharge and wake up refreshed and ready to conquer the day. Next up, start your day with a healthy breakfast. Don't skip it no matter how jittery you feel. Your brain needs fuel to function at its best. Go for something high in protein and complex carbs. Think eggs, whole grain toast, or even a smoothie with your favorite fruits. This will keep your energy levels stable and your focus sharp. Now on to the logistics. Aim to arrive at the testing center early. Not just on time, but early. This gives you a buffer for unexpected delays and helps reduce last-minute stress. Use this time to settle in, familiarize yourself with the surroundings, and take a few deep breaths. Speaking of breathing, let's talk about staying calm and focused. It's completely normal to feel a bit anxious, but don't let it overwhelm you. Practice deep breathing exercises, remind yourself of all the hard work you've put in, and trust in your preparation. If you come across a question that stumps you, don't panic, skip it, move on to the next one, and come back to it later. Your time is precious. Don't waste it stressing over one tricky question. Lastly, remember to read each question carefully. It's easy to misread or misunderstand a question when you're rushing. Take your time, understand what's being asked, and then answer. With these tips, you'll be well prepared for exam day. Let's revisit the key points we've discussed. We started our journey with a look at the real estate exam, understanding what it truly entails. It's not just about memorizing facts and figures, it's about comprehending the laws, the principles, and the practices that govern the real estate world. Then, we moved on to the importance of practice. Remember, practice isn't just about repetition, it's about refining your knowledge, applying it in different scenarios, and learning from your mistakes. Regular and focused practice is what will give you the confidence and the skills to excel. We also touched on some crucial exam day tips. These are not to be underestimated. They can make the difference between feeling overwhelmed and being in control. From getting a good night's sleep to having a healthy breakfast and arriving early at the exam venue, every aspect counts. Now you're equipped with the knowledge to ace the real estate exam in one try. Good luck!